Thought it was about time that we gave you a tour of our boat. So, there she is from the outside. Paul may talk about some of this in a little while, but obviously solar panels, little pouch up there to okay. to put um, chairs and whatnot in. And we go into the stern. First of all, really for cooking purposes only on our boat, we have our gas locker here. We have carrier bags. Uh, there's our two gas bottles. We've got two 19 kilogram bottles. So they should last some time. Uh, Purely for cooking, like I say, and then come on board, Liz. This is our cruiser stern, which is a great area for us. Quite often, we're late out of here as well. Yeah, it's quite uh, versatile with the um, canopy because we can have it, as you can see, this side open up, we can have it all down, we can have it all just, closed. Just back open yep. sometimes. So it's great. Or, I, I love fishing off of the back of here. After we've cruised and the sun's still out, I find it like such a nice place. Just pull a chair up and then just fish off the back of the boat, which is really sort of superb, like you know. Right, so we have this door here, which is our main. This is the door that we use on our sort of main getting in and off. Our bow area is really not used for that purpose. So we normally hook that up there, and then we've got a nice room. There's our. There's our main hatch in and out. So we've got a lovely area for getting up and down. You can practically walk down like an all pair set of stairs really. Just that last little sort of bit just stuck under there. That's so yeah, I'll show you the film inside the electric cupboard. So there's our steps, which I'll show you in a minute. Back on yourself there. there. Actually, let me just come show you. Yeah, so this is our main. This is our main cupboard for our electrics and it's also our coat hanging space but there's the electrics in there, um, quite a bit of our electrics, we've got some in, in the engine area as well but that's generally our sort of coat cupboard and that so that will work out to plan quite well. <laughs> <laughs> put, put that back I'll put that, we'll hang them up later. And then we created a, a larder cupboard in there, so there's all the food we have and haven't got. <laughs> Um, and we've got a small small microwave that we built in, which is an 800 watt I believe, um, so we just about get away with that with the size of our inverter. Um, and then underneath this cupboard here is Liz's painting cupboard, and also we have the chlorifier there. Yeah, as you can see Ernie was sitting there, this is our seating area, I uh, tend to sit here in the mornings. And um, it's sort of boots on, boots off. Yeah, and each of the steps have got, um, you can pull them. So in our first one, we've got all our pins, uh, windlasses, and things for mooring up, which obviously goes into that one as well, that opens. Well. Here, we've got a spare water, sorry, we've got spare water bottles and drinks. Well, you use those bottles generally for your drinking water, don't you? Yeah, and, drinking and water and some lemonade water. in there as well. Yeah. Um, bottom, I won't show you them all, but they all open up is, is my point to, for extra storage. Um, and then we've got three hobs, gas. Yeah. Three ring gas. Um, all my bits up there. These jars are usually filled with things, but... We're running out of food. Yeah, so. like spaghetti, etc. <laughs> it needs to go. We've got yeah. invisible spaghetti yeah, at the moment. It needs to go shopping. Yeah. Um, cupboards are just general, you know, the same as you would. This is a whole dog cupboard. That's Ernie's cupboard Plenty there. Of space in, yeah. in the cupboards, as you can see. Everyone's always got what oh, I call that's odds hard. and sods. Yeah. Um, that's yeah. got everything in it from our keys yeah. to um, tripod to our walkie talkies. It's just general. Bits and, bits and pieces, pieces. Really. Yeah. Um, and then 12 volt yeah 12, 12 volt fridge slash 240 it's both it does work on yeah both. but this is actually set up as 12 um, volt normal size fridge we haven't got a freezer so we might do just with a fridge and again this is the uh, drinking station here and again we've got jars 
that's usually filled up with boiled sweets, which is empty. They only last a night. <laughs> Um, yeah, and, and choppy boards there. Yeah, and then again, just cut normal cut the drawers like you would in a kitchen. All the Soul pots spoon. and pans. Yeah. We've actually also got space underneath um, the blimps. So some have got shoes in. Um, some have yeah. got spare spare things. You know, yeah. like the spare compost for the toilet or um, so forth. Um, put you back here, side. So that's the same with all the plimps everywhere, all the way along the kitchen area. So it's actually quite a bit of storage there, to be fair. Oven, um, gas oven. Full size. And grill, full size. Yep. That'll be your black sink. Um, mixer tap there, yep. Yep, yeah, mixer tap with the window and the blind, which is just fitted with Velcro on the bottom to stop it swinging. A few ornaments. You know, cookbooks like Indian Chinese that we'll never use, but they're mainly for add a little bit of colour in there. <laughs> and Mr. Ducky has drunk yet again. Oh, and one cupboard I haven't shown you yet, which I'm oh, quite proud of, oh. is the cleaning cupboard. Yeah. Um, it's got everything organised in. You may have seen that in an earlier vlog. This little item, which is essential for us because we, we get a lot of condensation on this. So On the windows, yeah. There you go. I haven't emptied it out, but... Yeah. Um, yeah, quite, yeah, quite sure. so, so the, that's the cleaning station. Cleaning station in there. And this, um, we had a little bit left once we'd finished the kitchen and uh, we managed to find a trolley, Dolly, that fitted in. Again, you may have remembered, it's not dust in there, you may have remembered um, me building this in a oh, previous yeah, vlog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, there's yeah. our tins, tins, yes, and, drinks tin, in tins there. and drinks in there. It just pulls out. Comes in really handy, that. And fits nicely in there. Yep. And then we go into what we call our dining room area. I thought you were going to say what we call our florist. No, from here. So I've got to put um, my artwork up that I did. Um, and if you come around this side, you'll see we've got odds, you know, chalk that we can draw on there if need be. Obviously, I've done all the chalk that stays on permanently yep. and round this side pull we've got our main clock that we hardly ever look at because you lose track of time so much on the boat <laughs> uh, so we've got the breakfast stalls and um, i'll keep the era there and behind paul is the dog bowl that he's just kicked and then my artwork the chalkboard that you may have seen that i did before so that's the kitchen and then look you can look back onto the kitchen there this is our view when we sit now breakfast and bits and pieces sometimes so it's not too bad quite a good size kitchen that we're well pleased with that to be fair and then, oh hang on a minute what about when we play noughts and crosses when we can't ah, get when well, we, when we can't crosses, get the internet yeah. sometimes i play with ernie he's like i like putting a treat in it and he tells yeah. me which one to make yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. sounds like noughts and yeah. crosses eco flow stores there yeah Ernie's dog toys, which he doesn't play with anymore because he just is so tired after the, his yeah. days cruising and exploring. He does seem He knackered, doesn't really he? play with his toys anymore, yeah, do you, Ernie? Knackered. Yeah, we've got the Eco Flow, like you said, Liz, haven't we? Yes, Eco Flows. And he's got some feathers that Liz has sound along the yeah, way. Yeah, he started to collect and feathers. Welcome <laughs> aboard, everyone. Welcome aboard. Okay, um, yeah. and then into the lounge area. This is, I'll do it as a whole first. Yeah, okay. This is the lounge area. Um, we wanted quite a nice space to allow the dog because a lot of sofas come out quite far but we wanted to allow him to have a bit of space Paul likes to stretch his legs out as well I've only got little legs though yeah, I know yeah. but, so this yeah. is um, Chester drawers that we've just got um, basic maps and books in there and um, yeah they're all filled with batteries and Damn. whatnot and equipment yeah it's just all storage general, underneath. Yeah, general bits and pieces. Look at using all the storage yeah. you can, really. I've got glasses, so sunglasses, glasses. Yeah. Everyone's got one of these, I think, as well. Yes. Usually at a drawer. Yeah. But a wire that you're not sure what they're all yeah. for. Cables, etc. <laughs> yeah. I've got my art stuff at the back there. Wax yeah. melts there. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. Manuals and things under here. Every space is used. Is used. Yeah. Um, in... Normal sofa, like I say, it doesn't convert into a sofa bed or anything. The TV does pull out 
um, if we need to, yeah. twist it round or yeah, anything. Yeah. Um, not that we do that much. Under here, we've also managed to find a um, storage that fits underneath this Useful sofa. Useful storage bag. It's actually got yeah. games and yeah, things like that in. Yeah, bits and pieces in. Yeah. Oh, there's a big cobweb there. Oh, we'll open the duck hatches, yes. Then we've got duck hatches, which... Are massive. Ours are really quite big, yeah. Really big good size. Hatches. Really good size. Open them up without slamming them. What are you saying, really? Yes. I haven't actually painted the inside of them. Yeah, it's do that very later, can yeah I? that's one of them jobs. There's our duck hatches, and we've got a more hen out there coming to see us. Oh, yeah. Probably thinks it's going there to be some, some break. improvements we still need to do. Yeah, we haven't, well. finished, we haven't finished the inside of the... You might think it looks quite, I don't know how it's looking on the video, but it is quite dark in here and we are in September. It's because I've put the privacy window film on, so it does darken it a little bit. Yeah, it bit. did darken it, yeah. But that obviously really opens up. Yeah, that's lovely, oh, isn't nice. it? Yeah. Uh, got a collection of logs down there, haven't we? Those are more for um, decorative, really. Yeah. It, and also emergency for the winter, I suppose. But they're more decorative. Than Although when like our that. boat was in the marina yeah. and they were doing the back yeah. burn over repairs for yeah. us, yeah. the guys at, at Will and Marina used a couple of my yeah, logs. Yeah, they did use like, a couple. <laughs> um, yeah, we've got the bucket of coal there, haven't we? Yeah, this yeah. is the fire. We've got the ash bucket. Coal, coal, kindling. Yeah. I mean, obviously, this isn't our stock. Um, this is just. I will show you the around. stock. Yeah. Wi-Fi router. Our picture of our, our like, sunny our dog. Yeah. dog. Um, our Wi-Fi router there. Yep. Which goes up into a temporary hole that Paul hasn't finished off yet. Finished yet. A few of my ornaments from home. Blankets. Um, and also this this basket houses, um, stop licking your paws Ernie, it houses Ernie's jumpers and things Aww. and coats. And good size Blue. log burner, haven't we? Yep, it's got a hole underneath that we store the um, instruments in. Yep. Do we need to, you know, like the poker and whatnot. Got the, we've got an angled chimney. We find it quite cute, don't we? And we've got a main lounge radiator there as well, which obviously in the summer, that's a, uh, sorry, in the winter, that's a, a nice uh, chair to be sitting in. Yeah, yes, my chair. Yes, Liz's chair. Right, okay. Would you like to go through to the bathroom? Okay, oh, and let me just show you. Oh, yes, of course, yes. What it's like, I shouldn't have the door. And then we've got and this there door. was yeah that was the purpose made door that we've we've shown in uh, previous vlogs uh, yeah. me making it and a new painting etc and putting the studs on so yeah that you can see how that was made and and fitted etc. We weren't going to have a door originally were we? But um, we then put one in and it's we really we like it. We, we, we we're glad we did it. Yeah, we're glad we did. Yeah. Separate. Okay. Well, you have to excuse the bathroom because at the moment we're in the middle of doing our pigeon hatch. Um, and the pigeon hatch has got green frog tape in, so the shower is a luminous green, it looks like, where the light's coming through it. I quite like it, to be And fair. you've got your jumper in there, see? Yeah. I quite like it, actually. A luminous green. <laughs> yeah, but it looks bloody good. <laughs> Yeah, that's only because we've got frog tape over the yeah. uh, over the glass holes. Yeah, we're in the middle of of the pigeon hatch, which is actually creating a lovely colour. Eh? So yeah, that's a normal normal size shower, yeah. eighty by eighty, is it? Yeah, 800 80 by eight hundred yeah. quadrant shower. Yep. Um, right. Let's actually take you in. Are you coming in or out? You'd have to come in, money. Come in. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to shut this door so I can show you the... So we've got some cupboards in here with pulse This is clothes. mainly my my clothes storage has yeah. gone in the bathroom, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. And down below here we've got a normal washing machine. Yeah. Well, it's not a normal washing machine, is it? Uh, Depth-wise. Width-wise it's normal, but depth-wise it's only about 450 or 45 centimetres depth. Um, so it's ideal for the boat. We had to find one the right size, to be honest. And then we've got two little cupboards here. Um, um, but houses hanging. Hanging space, space there. Hole. Yeah. It's down in, in the bottom there yeah. is the toilet fan. Um, yeah. The spare bottle. 
Yeah. So toilet yeah. rolls, that type. Yeah. yeah. Toilet and um, compost. Um, but, yeah. Obviously clean compost there to top it up with. Up from my shelves. Um, just bits and pieces. Knickknacks, bits and pieces and more shelves here. And then this, oh, the sink unit. This is our lovely marbled tiled that we did. On a previous um, vlog, isn't it? And the small side so pulls washing his jumper in Got the a sink. jumper soak in there. Um, this is our, oh, oh yes. the cupboard. And then cupboard, obviously housing some of my shoes and general bits and pieces. General bits and pieces. And this here, this switch, dial goal here. Demo. I'll show you, Ernie doesn't like it. Look at Ernie, it's so great. And obviously, it's sucking the water out from there. Great noise. So that actual section that that's fixed to, this section believe here. it or not, that is sort of Velcroed in position. So that can come on and off for maintenance purposes. And along with this whole vanitary unit that can come in and out as well it's only held in place with screws so we can always get to the back for the plumbing purposes so and then we've got um oh, and a small radiator that's nice and roasty toasty on your legs does in the winter does really well yeah it does that's an half chuck it out there, yeah. yeah yeah does really well yeah we've also got um above our head which we haven't done anything with yet so it's looking a bit tassy but um I don't know what you call it, Houdini hatch, I think they're called. Mm, yeah, I'm not sure Houdini actually. Hatch. Yeah. I think it's for ventilation. So we've got yeah, that. that we've does got slide. the pigeon. Yeah. And obviously a window. Um, yep, fire so extinguisher. Cows, fire extinguisher yeah. put in. Colin. Yeah. Colin's down here, Colin the cactus. Yeah. Again, a piece of my artwork from yeah. home. Mirror. Full length, Full -length. mirror. And that's it for the bathroom. Yeah. Okay. So now we'll take you through into the bedroom. Do you want to do the bedroom? Up on the bed. So we've got a full size bed, four foot six. Um, the only compromise we had to do uh, to get the four foot sixes is our door opening is basically six inches narrower than everyone else's would be if they have a standard sort of boat bed of four foot. So. Uh, but we think it's worth it, uh, especially as our yeah. sort of snore makes too much noise at the middle of the night <laughs> and get elbowed and beaten up and all the rest of it. And possibly a lot of this you would have seen on previous blogs uh, if you've been uh, following us. Uh, but obviously we've got a, a see nice ceiling feature that we did out of um, oak. That's all solid oak there, fixed in position. Um, one of Lizzie's sort of feature ideas, which has come across really well. So underneath the bed are um, spare duvets, the uh, spare beds, uh, Christmas decorations, um, and my clothes. Um, we've got another radiator yeah. there. This whole section of bed is on a hinge and lifts yeah. up completely. Yeah. Um, so it's got loads of storage underneath, hasn't it? Yep. Yeah. yeah. And then these Paul built these cupboards as well, which have also got clothing in and. Bits and pieces, really. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to slam that. And really important for us was this little bench area. And this is Ernie's easy step up to get on the bed, rather than having to do like a nearly a three foot jump, mm -hmm. which is well pleased with, don't you? Ernie? And his bed uh, would go here over night time, but just tucks away underneath, underneath that bench um, yeah. during the day. Which gives us a nice Which gives us, yeah. Nice space. Uh, again, we've got another storage cupboard just there. Just showing that one. Yeah, okay. And, and then we've got this step into the bow area, which basically slides in and out. And then underneath there, we've got our stopcock for our mains water coming from the um, mains uh, water tank there. Uh, the pump on and off, main pump. And obviously, there is a massive water tank. I can't. For the life of me, remember what how much water that holds. But it takes a, a on good pressure on a hose, it takes something like thirty five minutes to fill up from empty. So it's quite a bit of storage for water in there. Really pleased with it. Right, and then out from the bedroom, we go out onto the front of the boat called the bow, which we've. That's our latest addition, really, wasn't it? Yeah, 
that's our last thing we did in the boat yeah uh we put down some very thin artificial cheap, turf, artificial turf. <laughs> um yeah. and made some seats into it so you can sit in here again it's the same thing as the stern you can um, lift the covers up have them down yeah. take them off um got some pictures that are magnetic pictures um if this is shut thank you paul got some yeah windows into the bedroom there and then some pictures stuck on with magnetic um you can have made up um and then underneath each of the benches we've got um paul's created like a wood storage so we've got wood under every single bench um and a kindling in that red box down there um shall i show you a kindling collection kindling. being collected pretty much every time i take ernie out for a walk this is my, one of my favorite birds that's been broken about eight times and is glued in several places no, you can see, that's the nice one of the bedroom there. Yeah. Get the idea of the size that we're a bit. And this door opens from, up, from the top. Yeah, we will there you go. put a hinge. Yep. Fill up, chug a block with chug wood. Chug a block with wood ready to be burned. <laughs> the only time, obviously, we have to open these is when we're getting wood out. But yeah. where the one Paul is sitting on now houses our water yeah. tank. So, our, opening. Yeah, our, our water filling point is just below where my finger is basically. Yeah. So we tend to move a couple of pieces of timber out of the way uh, under the lid and then the hose will come through from either side and plonk into there for like half hour or so or whatever it takes. Hence why the hose is out. Yeah, because... and that's why the hose is now stored there. Yeah. We did have it on a, a proper reeling container but after several fights with it and a massive fallout in the end with it, we decided just to sort of bin the outside construction and just keep the hose so that's where we are with it really um, and obviously that goes out onto the bow locker doesn't it yeah. so when we open the bow locker we have to un we have to undo these really because our bow locker because opens this our, way yeah because the bow locker opens inwards um so we sort of fold it in sort of goes towards where those plants are at the moment but there's masses of storage in there that's around about five foot deep um, and takes up practically all that triangular area. Uh, so that's like our sort of garden shed, really. Yeah. Anything you put in your garden shed and that would probably be in there, wouldn't it? Like you know. Have you got, got lawnmower in there? Stuff in there. We've got a Is there a lawnmower in there? In there? No lawnmower. You're funny. Isn't well, it? that's what I'm putting well, my we garden shed. We have got grass. <laughs> like official grass. But yeah, I mean that's a superb area. Um, it's only half full with general bits and pieces like sort of shed stuff that you would have at home top half of it generally is where we can put our bin liners and our rubbish so when we pull into you know top up with water etc it's so easy just to flip open the the top cover there and just grab the bin liners and it's done and luckily enough i know some people struggle with space with their rubbish and all the rest of it it's so handy we can actually hide our rubbish away it's never on show so that's that's yeah. a really good bonus of it and it doesn't obviously it. smell because it's yeah, on the outside and you don't get the, the boat, smell so. so it's magnificent yeah it's a magnificent storage space really uh really pleased with it so yeah um right if i take you up to the engine area yeah is that right we're just going to see the engine bay quickly and that sort of wraps us up doesn't it really on our inside tour yeah yeah okay, okay let's do that as we are walking back through the boat actually i'll show you what it's like from this way in case paul didn't turn around on any of the, the occasions so again bathroom back through the boats Right, so this is our engine bay underneath here. There we have uh, 1.8 BMC diesel engine. Uh, and there's our prop shaft. Runs out to the back, obviously, there. 
a stone ground there, which you do get occasionally, you get your drips yeah, through yeah. it, and there's a stone ground greaser. Um, so, general checks are I'll, I'll check that, adjust that, a water <laughs> check, and an oil check. And Paul and I've got some general tools. storage area there as well. <laughs> so, it's quite a really <laughs> nice size um, storage as well. That's pretty much it for us then, isn't it? Yep. Who'd have, thought, who'd have thought all that time ago when we first put a deposit down on that boat when it was in the right state etc we'd be in a position to do a boat tour but uh, <laughs> really glad we have hope you enjoyed it guys and maybe there's a few sort of ideas that you might think yeah that's a good idea this and the other or, or not, not to do it or not how not to do it or whatever but um yeah hope you really it enjoyed us, it yeah it? hope yeah. you really enjoyed it um don't forget to subscribe like and hit the bell etc and don't forget all them comments, we love them. Thank yep. you very much. See you later, guys. Bye. See you next Bye. Time, Bye, guys. Yeah. Bye, guys. See you later. Bye, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>